Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the uh, PSD to CSS Online uh, video tutorials. Today we're going to look at a new feature called links with uh, naming layers. We've got lots of tricks we can do by naming your layers in Photoshop. By naming uh, your layer with the words with the word link in it, you can make uh, you can turn things into links right on your page automatically with PSD to CSS Online. So let's see how that works. So first we'll look at uh, our a pretty simple page that I've already made. Um, here's Photoshop, of course. You can see my uh, my image back here, my Photoshop file. I've got a couple places for buttons. You can see, and uh, here are the layers. Each button has its own layer. And so here's the home um, layer. You can see the button. You can see the name. And of course, the trick here is to put in the name for the layer the letters underscore L-I-N-K link. There can be other layers, I mean sorry, other other uh, letters, so this one's called home underscore link, this one's called product underscore link, this one's called blog underscore link, and that's that's how PSD to CSS Online is going to know uh, to turn these into links. So uh, if we save this out to our desktop, uh, save as, uh, what do we call it, Photoshop links? Save. Yeah, I guess it's already there. Okay, so there it is right there. Then we go to PSD to CSS Online. And like everything else, we just look for it right from the front page. We don't have to log in. Check our desktop. There's the file. And we click Upload. PSD to CSS Online will start to upload the file and start to do the conversion and before you know it we have a web page get some details we can view our final web page here and there it is of course looks exactly the same just like always and you can see that these are actually links they currently don't link to anything but you can see the little arrow button you can see you can see the browser is treating them as a link so we'll do what we always do we'll save this file this page save page as we'll put it into this folder on my desktop called demo Say save. There we go. All done. Now, so here's my demo folder, and there's what what we just generated. Um, just like always, we can look at it. So there it is, coming right from our hard drive, not from the website. And now here's where we're going to make our links actually link to something important. Uh, once again, we're going to edit the HTML file. Not a whole lot of editing though. Here's my favorite editor. You might remember. There's a bunch of new uh, comments inside the uh, inside the uh, HTML file now. You can find uh, all the pertinent sections of code by the what you named your uh, label. So you can see this comment says you named this layer contact link. So this is the information about the contact link button. You can find down here another label that says uh, this this label is this is label uh, content link. And here is a uh, sure enough here's the PNG file, and here is our blank href tag. This is what it, this is what makes it into a link. So if I want, for example, the content link to link to Google instead, I would go into the href link, http colon slash slash google.com, and that's it. I just turned the uh, the contact link contact link in we'll reload reload now the content link links us right to Google and that's all there is to it we can change all of these links all these buttons to links to wherever you need with that simple procedure so uh, give that a whirl and uh, have fun thanks